What's up guys, Guns for Newbies back here. Just wanted to do another video and today I wanted to talk about these two guns um, and you know just kind of how they stack up against one another. <clears throat> There's not really any clear-cut um, reviews online like to where which one people actually prefer or positives and negatives and I'm kind of going to go into my thoughts on that as well as some range footage of how they both shot and just kind of go through um, you know, just my complete thoughts on like, which one should you pick up if you were really, you know, after, you know, the best SIG in my personal opinion. So I guess we'll start out, we'll just start out with this guy. Um, and what we'll do is we'll just put this guy over here. So start out. Safety checked. So um, you'll see some red here and on the bottom of the light that is from a holster and that will be another video to come of some holster fitment that, um, you know, I, I'll just dive into that completely in another video. But so to sum this up, this is a, uh, 17 round capacity, nine millimeter, um, gun with a dual port, uh, compensator of the slide, I guess. It's not really a barrel compensator so i don't know why they they call it the comp but it is what it is it has two um barrel ports if anything so but either way it still um seems to reduce the recoil uh pretty pretty decent amount i mean for what it is i mean a full size uh in this like if i was to say how much difference this has in recoil versus like my x5 legion it would probably be like 20 ish percent so um, when you're trying to do follow-up shots or um you know just just uh accurate groupings it does make a difference in the uh, grand scheme of things um gives you a little bit more uh you know confidence in shooting the gun close far range whatever it may be and it also just makes it a little bit more fun to go you know shoot fast so definitely nice um i wish they would have made it a full um full barrel and uh, ported the top here. I think that would have been cool, uh, especially if it, if it was like two of these, that would have been really, really cool. I think that would have also worked a little bit better. Um, but from, uh, and I actually tried to do that, but actually on the inside of the slide, this has got material removed in here. So it doesn't actually cradle the barrel as a regular slide, like an X5 Legion does. But a lot of those only have a point of like, um, you know, it's not even really contact to just kind of almost sits there on the on the bottom of it at just at the end so in all theory i think it would work because um as you can see there's still you know mass at the bottom there but the i emailed sig and they said that they wouldn't recommend it so i don't really know what that means um you know i guess you could just get a regular barrel because the lockup looks very identical to the x5 legion i guess you could probably get an x5 legion barrel and put that in there and then if it fired regularly non-ported you could port it and see uh, what the differences are i think it would be probably a, just a little bit more but in the grand scheme of things over a ported versus non-ported version it would make a big difference you know um, wouldn't make that bit much of a difference from this one to doing that but you know like an x5 legion to this it would so with that being said, there's a couple things that I want to go into. So a lot of people are saying that, you know, weight has such a big difference um, in comparing guns that you should only compare guns that are one or two ounces off or whatever the case may be. So this one is right about 41 and a half ounce. Um, and this one is, I believe, 36 ounces. So a little bit, bit uh, what is that, like uh five ounces so not a huge difference in my opinion you really can't feel them to be honest like if you pick up both the guns they're both heavier so uh not really gonna feel anything in my personal opinion and i kind of tested that so this gun shoots tremendously softer than my x5 legion uh, which i no longer have but uh this one does as well like considerably better so with that being said, I do not believe that weight, I mean, unless you're going from like a 22 ounce gun to like a CZ that's like 50 ounces, could it make a big difference? Um, but I really think that your uh, recoil reduction 
um, modifiers are going to be ports, compensators, uh, things of that nature. Now, can you make the guns shoot slightly better with a combination of things, you know, making it shoot slightly better, make it shoot a ton better? Yes, you can. Like, for instance, if you have just like one of these, a full size, and you want to go to the tungsten frame, and you want to add a comp, um, and you want to add a light, that's going to make a big difference. But if you just switch, like, for instance, just the grip, it's going to make a little bit of a difference, but the combination between everything is really going to make it take off. So um, with that being said, um, and the reason I get into that is because I think that there's going to be a lot of comments that are saying, oh, well, you're comparing a gun that's 30 some ounces versus a gun that's 40 some ounces. There's your difference. And that's why it shoots better. Uh, that is not the that's that's just not the case. I mean, it's five ounces, not really that much of a difference. Um, the actual steel frame i do like the way it's set up i do like everything about this i personally prefer this grip over the um, tungsten because it gives it uh, just a more i really don't know what what the terminology is but the recoil pattern on this seems like it feels more natural to your hand uh, resembles almost like a like a 19 like uh like my staccato it doesn't shoot as soft as my staccato that's not what i'm saying i'm saying like it gives a more natural feel i supposed as to where polymer flexes a little bit so it's got like a, a little bit more like you can put more muscle into it and you're still going to get like it feels like you have to muscle it a lot more to get it to recoil the same as like a steel frame or I already know people are going to comment the aluminum, um, you know, grip modules, but, um, that is all I meant by that, which is, it, it's really nice in the grand scheme of things. Um, this is a fantastic gun. I absolutely love it. I mean, there's nothing that virtually I would change about this gun. I've had this set up here for a little while and I absolutely love it. It's been great. I really prefer this Magwell over the Spectre comp. Um, but where I'm going with this is, uh, you know, out of these two guns, um, I really do enjoy the Spectre comp a little bit more. So, um, this is a, I believe 4.6 inch barrel, um, compensated, uh, tungsten infused grip. Um, they both have the same exact triggers. Um, they're both going to have the same optic cut. If I'm not mistaken, everything is virtually the same other than just the looks and the, or the aesthetics. Um, so, with all that being said, and this one has a little bit more weight, but with that being said, I did notice in shooting 124 grain, um, I did notice that this one had a lot easier of a return to zero. And it's really, really strange because, um, and I haven't shot them both shooting 115 yet, but it's really strange because this one just by far was so much more superior to the X5 Legion in grouping and shooting and everything under the sun. And these two, the performance was very, very negligible. You could not, in, in terms of like a superiorness, like which one's better, I really couldn't tell which one was better. I have more rounds through this one. So the trigger for some reason is like a half a pound or maybe even a pound lighter in this one. And that makes this one really, really, uh, you know, fun to shoot. And it's easier when trying to get more accurate shots in the tight group, not waiting on that trigger break, um, especially when you have your, your sight lined up and everything like that. I will say um, the Romeo X in comparison to these two uh, lights is very nice. I think that this is a lot more, uh, it's a lot better for like, uh, if you were to carry it, um, the EOTech, in my opinion, is definitely my favorite though. I mean, I just love this sight when shooting it. I noticed this one was a lot quicker. This one, occasionally you could get a little bit of the dot. I mean, it's very, very fast to pick it back up. And this time, this one with just that larger sight picture and, um, it just, you, you just don't lose it. But I did notice, um, in terms of shooting fast, it's very deceiving because it almost looks like in the video, this one shot softer but it didn't this one shot um, a little bit harder not like um a ton maybe 10 or 15 percent more if i had to put a number on it but it definitely did this one definitely ate the recoil better which is very very uh you know i guess it's different because this one you know has essentially the tungsten fuse it's not it's not a steel frame and i felt like you know with the steel frame you can get a little bit more of um, you know, just recoil management. And I don't know that it was very interesting shooting these two guns, I would say. Um, and I think this one has a little bit more, I definitely have more 
you know, wrapped it into this one because the trigger is more broken in. So that's going to help it out. Um, and I have the grip stippled. So that really, really makes like this thing is grippy, super grippy, which I really like. This also has an excellent grip, but this isn't obviously modified. This is just, um, I believe these are, uh, obviously the aluminum grave and, and then, uh, aluminum grip. And then I think these are fiberglass. I, I think I read online. I'm not really sure what they are, but either way, these still do have some really good texture. It's just not as aggressive as this stippled. Um, so there's a number of things that came into it, but I will tell you, uh, you know, as far as like enjoyability or pleasure, whatever you want to call it, this one was just a lot more fun to shoot. Um, when comparing them side to side, when not comparing them side to side, I enjoy shooting this one a lot, but it's just like anything else. If you have a gun that shoots better than another one, even if it's slightly, you're going to prefer that. And it's going to be more fun in that point in time. So, um, let's go to the range footage so you guys can see what everything is looking like. And then we will come back and, you know, just talk about final thoughts here. Okay guys, so we're back and uh, after the range footage, uh, as you can see, I mean the groupings were incredibly similar. The um, guns felt pretty identical. I will say this, um, if you're looking at which one you should purchase, it's really going to determine, I would say, number one, I'd put my hand on both of these to see if you like the grip module. This one has a thicker grip module than the aluminum. I don't know what it is, but overall in size, I can tell you it feels just a little bit bigger in the grip. Just a little bit, like a little bit fatter. And I mean, kind of see that there. It is a little thicker in the grip on the back here. So um, that could play a role in, you know, your hand size and how it's going to translate into how much you like the gun. So I would say, put your hand on that. I think once I put more rounds through this guy, it's going to shoot in terms of like trigger, it's going to be exactly the same. But if you were going to choose one of the two, um, and let's say you were looking at cost effective wise, I mean, I got this one at a pretty spectacular deal. So that was mainly the reason I bought it. Um, but I think this setup is like $1,750, which I paid nowhere near that, thankfully. Um, and then this one I actually traded, if you can believe it or not, I traded a modified Glock for, so I didn't buy this one either. Um, so I got pretty lucky on both of these. Um, but I think this, this one, I mean, you could probably find them for 1100 bucks or 1200 bucks or something like that. Um, uh, you know, uh, online gun broker or some website that's having a sale. Um, your biggest difference is this one's going to come with the optic. Neither of them come with a light, obviously. Um, this one, let's say you did go for this setup. I mean, you're looking roughly like, let's just say 1200 bucks and you get a light and you get the, the sights. I mean, you're still going to be less than what this one is. By the time you stipple it, if you choose to even do that, then you're going to be right in the realm of this. And I would say, I do like how this one shoots a lot better. I do like the magwell on this one better by far. Um, I think it's a lot, it, it's definitely a lot smaller as well, as you can see. So if you were to carry it, it's going to translate into a lot less footprint if you're trying to conceal carry it, or if you're just trying, I mean, if you're even outside the waistband carrying it, I mean, this is more like a carry magwell and this one's more like a competition magwell. I will say they flared this one pretty incredible. I mean, the flare on this is, is by far the best I've ever seen, you know, none of my Glock, um, Magwell's funnel like that. Like there's, there's hard edges on there. There's almost no, I mean, they're completely for aesthetics. 
there are a couple ridges here so it's just a little bit different i mean i've never gotten the mag caught but it's definitely a little bit different i would say i mean this is very very hard to pick but if i was going to say which one stacked out better i mean money for uh dollars for dollars you're going to get better performance out of this one in my personal opinion um i do like that it takes a regular 3.9 inch um recoil assembly which i like and this one has it is a full length guide rod but uh i feel like this one just isn't as smooth in action like when it's going back and forth because of the recoil spring and system they did in it and that might be something that's that's messing with the recoil pattern a little bit and if they were if we i mean and that's something that obviously i can look into is finding a different recoil system it doesn't feel it does not feel as smooth going back into lockup as this one does like this one is And that could be why I'm enjoying the recoil pattern a lot more. Not really sure. Well, however, whatever the case may be, you're not going to go wrong with buying either of these. I think that this one's just a little bit, I mean, if we're talking like, let's say this is a 10 out of 10 gun for me for the dollars, this one would be like a 9.7. It's a very, very small difference. Nevertheless, there is one there. Um, so take that as you will i would say the spectre comp has been great the only the only issues i had was out of the box it had the old recoil system in it i put the new recoil system in there um it was like a single spring recoil spring and then the new ones are are like um it's like a intertwined um recoil uh, spring so and i actually have that in another video in case you're wondering what that what that what i'm talking about and ever since then, I've had no issues with this, and it's just been a fantastic gun. This one is a little bit lighter, a little bit slimmer, so easier to carry. So you could take that for what it is and just say, hey, well, you know, if I want to ever carry it, um, depending on what your gun laws are in your state and what your um, status is, if you can have that or not legally, or if you need a concealed carry and you have that, then you can look at that as being a big possibility and just say, hey, I understand the gun's going to recoil just a little bit more. I'm okay with that. And I want something that's going to print a little bit less. I love the SIG. I love the big, big, you know, full size. And I want it to be, you know, to have some sort of recoil reduction system like the comp. And, you know, because I mean, essentially what this is, is it's basically a uh, macro, just full size. So, I mean, they did an incredible job on it. I definitely don't ever plan to get rid of that guy. I really like it. But if I was going to get rid of one of these two, I would get rid of this one just because five ounces for me, it's not that big a deal. Um, second, I'm not going to be able to conceal either of these very well, in my personal opinion. Um, so might as well, um, you know, just get like a out of the waistband carrier if you're going to need it for whatever the case may be. Even if it's a range day, I would much rather carry this one because I enjoy shooting it more. So hope you guys liked the video. Um, please remember to like and subscribe uh, for future content. Um, if you want to become a supporter of the channel, there is a Patreon link in the description. Um, that will help us as, you know, we're getting bigger and already almost a thousand subscribers. Um, and they're growing each and every day, no matter if I'm posting videos or not. So that's pretty cool. Um, that's just going to help us get more uh, guns on the channel, more optics, more lights, more everything. So um, again, thanks for you guys. Thank you guys for watching and I will uh, see you guys in the next video.